being from New York City, we, well, I won't speak for both of us, but. Um, you can, <laughs> we, we, we've discussed it and our opinions are much the same. It, it's very much like New York, except more efficient. Um, I'm hesitant to say that because I love my city and I'm. <laughs> yeah, but there's just stuff that we could do better. We mean in New York. I mean, our city's only 250 years old. Yeah, they've got like a thousand years old. Yeah, and everything's <clears throat> so clean and so well done. Even the tube, which I don't think it's older than New York's, but. Mm -hmm. I don't think so either. It might be the same age. Yeah. Um, we can research It's that. very mm -hmm. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to navigate, although I find our subway system to be very easy to navigate to. Plus, our subway system runs all night long, which is great. That's and there's great. only one fare per ride, whereas in London, it's based on zones, which were a little bit confusing. Yes. We went to the laundromat in that was amazing. London also, and so much more efficient than the laundromats in New York. Um, don't get me wrong, I love our laundromat in Astoria, like they are my family. This one, oh my gosh, these laundromats in London were just so efficient, so yeah. I loved London. Yeah. I would absolutely go back, I can't wait to go back. Um, I feel like I, in the eight days we were there, I got a really good feel for where things were. Um, we have a really good sense of direction too. You do. She does. We talked about the food in Iceland, how everything had a sauce and we weren't super fans. We were actually pretty hungry the most, the majority of our time in Iceland. London, we were told from some people that the food would be horrible and from other people that that's not necessarily true. I have to say, I really enjoyed the food. So we had Indian yes. food twice at the best Indian restaurant I've ever been to. Um, I think I can I can still smell it on this shirt because you go in there and it's like, the spices, etc. cetera, it's, it's happening. It's a miasma in the air that just sticks on you. So we went there twice because it was so good and it wasn't far from our hotel. And then even everything else, it was sort of like they took food that we're used to, but it had like a, maybe a British flair. And then we tried the traditional fish and chips and bangers and mash, and they were fine. Um, Delicious in fact. Yeah, they were good. So we are about to try the traditional fish and chips. Um, neither of us really eat fish, but we're actually pretty excited to try this. Looks good. It looks greasy. Verdict. It's a little bit fishy. Mm -hmm. If it was chicken, it would be good. <laughs> the batter is good. Okay. I don't know that I need batter, battered fish. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll try it too. So we're at the Sherlock Holmes pub. We are ordering the pub favorites. Andrew got fish and chips and I got sausage and mash. What are your thoughts on the um, Sherlock Holmes so far? It's interesting. I guess, it, I don't know if this is what the all are like, but like this is what the pub situation is about. Restaurant upstairs, bar downstairs. I didn't see a lot of seating. In the There's bar. no seating in the bar. Um, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get my food on. I need a flat surface, as Joy will attest. <laughs> Yeah, like I need a board of some sort to lay to rest my <laughs> digestibles upon. But in any case, it's pretty cool. They have like some pipes and hats. They do have some cool stuff, some Sherlock Holmes stuff. Pretty cool. Yeah, we, we thought the food was fine. We were never hungry. Like no. we were in Iceland I mean, there's even a place, after a meal. There's a place called Five Guys. <laughs> Where are we today? We are riding the bus, going to the Tower of London and the London Bridge. Um, it's a cloudy day, but I have my iPhone back, so I'll be trying to do it.
It felt a it's little great. bit like home, which was kind of nice because it felt like home on a vacation, which on a long trip Except like there was this. No garbage. No garbage. There's like no, no garbage. No garbage. I feel like there were rats, but we didn't see them. Because there's no garbage. Why would they leave? It's Why true. would they leave their warrens and huts and dens? That's true. We also really, really loved our hotel. It was the Hoxton Holborn. And they upgraded us because we said it was our honeymoon. And, Cause it well, because it was. Yeah. And um, they were so great. They sent us little breakfast bags every morning. Little yogurt. It was so good. And just the cutest little place. And hopping downstairs at night, like every and night. I like downstairs was a little bit too cool for me. Like it I was wanted to really take the cool. back elevator and just like sneak out with the help. You know, they're drinking like their vodka whatever, and Aperol spritzes, and whatever. Fancy gin drinks, I don't know. They seemed fun and cool. They and seemed friendly. a lot of fun, <laughs> very cool, and it was a cool place to go. And pretty affordable, and right in the center of everything. So if you go to London, I am absolutely recommending the Hoxton Holborn. We are on TripAdvisor and marking everything that we go to, sort of so we can keep a tally of it. A lot of the places kind it. of want you to do it. Yeah. Like they all have the TripAdvisor thing hanging somewhere in their restaurant. Yeah. Well, if you want to see where we've been, you're really interested, just find my name. And yeah. The uh, whatever. proprietor of the Punjab Indian restaurant that we ate at twice, because it was amazing, uh, said, you know, if you wouldn't mind, because we had complimented him effusively on the meal, and he said, if you wouldn't mind going on TripAdvisor and giving a review, that would be great, because a lot of people are quick to complain on TripAdvisor. But when they have a good experience, they don't like to take the time to mention that. We hadn't planned to do that, but it seems to be happening and... Sometimes you don't need a plan. <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, we love fellas. London and we'll tell you more about Malta soon. Woo. Bye. Bye. Tell me some of your thoughts about London so far. There are obvious similarities between London and New York, having lived in New York for 20 years. You know, it's kind of, a, it's the same vibe, but it's different. It's just so much older and older. Yes! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so, it's just so older, so much older. It really and is. It's historical. It's crazy and it really older. makes you think that we are like the bastard stepchild of the world, like, that's why we're easily dismissed as silly or frivolous because we haven't really, I don't know, I don't want to sound anti-American, but you know, I don't know. What do we give the world? The Kardashians? <laughs> I don't want to get off on a rant here because it's supposed to be fun. Um, parks are nice. They have pigeons. They're just much bigger. And pigeons. pelicans, which I haven't seen one to get a picture of, but there are signs everywhere that say, do not feed these social birds. They'd seem antisocial to me.